In 1865, Hartwig returned to Stavanger and worked for two years at Ornensen's painting workshop. Once again, he had access to materials and could resume old painting. During this time, he painted several of his strongest works. Old Pine Trees, Inlet 3, From Tusva, Marine Painting and Borgeja. What characterizes all these works are bright sunny skies and a sense of nature's tranquility. In the paintings of virgin forests, such as old pine trees, it seems as if the air is perfectly inert. Med knokarna mot augneblänkens bork. Borken har färge av ro och vänlig rund form. Jag öppnar barndomen och hell varmt om min furu vän. Pine trees seem to have had special significance for Hartavik, especially trees with minimal conditions for life. This painting is one of his main works from his second period of large oil paintings. The motif is an imaginary landscape based on drawings of virgin forests in Tusvar. The three central trees represent a decaying process and stand in contrast to the clear blue sky. The composition, which is marked by verticality, violates the classic composition of foreground, intermediate ground and background which Hartwig used in earlier paintings. The mammoth trees are on the verge of death. At the same time, one rises above all the others it reaches toward the light and almost disregards all the natural conditions for life. The remarkable size difference in the painting also comes into focus as soon as we notice the two minuscule figures standing next to a tree growing in a knoll to the left. They are but two small wanderers in an overwhelming landscape. In coastal motifs such as Borgea and marine painting, the landscape rests in and reflects a penetrating light these paintings have a lighter palette than the brownish academic tones Hartwig used in the 1850s and in some works the proportions are illogical and the central perspective is askew. These blonde fjord landscapes, as they are called, were painted in 1867, immediately after Hartwig stopped working at Ornensen's workshop. They are based on sketches and memories of his years on Borgia from 1859 to 65. The blonde fjord landscapes are made with smooth, thin brushstrokes of light and muted blue, green, turquoise, brown, beige and pink. This palette differs radically from the dark colours of the Düsseldorf school and from Hartwig's previous oil paintings. In contrast to the storm scenes from ten years earlier, the paintings he produced in the 1860s are marked by even light, tranquillity and a contemplative mood. The motif for Inlet 3, painted in 1866, is identical to that of two works with the same name, which Hartwig painted ten years earlier in 1856. While the first two paintings have dynamic movement and brownish tones typical for the Düsseldorf school, and while they convey a dramatic narrative through weather and light conditions, this third version of Inlet, on account of its colour and brushwork, signals a radical departure. The entire landscape is swathed in blue-green tones in silence. It is seen as a transitional work heralding Hartwig's last large oil paintings, which he made in 1867. In the work entitled Marine Painting, it's early morning in Tusvar, and several boats are ready to set sail. Everything is reflected in the water, even though we can see small ripples in the foreground. It is said that Hartwig often rose early to see what was happening in the harbour and in the surrounding landscape. Since the rediscovery of his art in 1914, this painting has been considered one of his coloristic masterpieces. The blue and turquoise water fractures with the reflections of large morning clouds. The brushstrokes are tight and fine and the paint is applied in thin layers to achieve a smooth enamel-like surface. The picture is so beautifully painted. It is as if the artist has tried to erase all traces of his own presence in order to not disturb the tranquillity. Despite this, marine painting seems to be that piece of art from his artistic life work 
through which we encounter him most intimately. De stramme stripene i vattene, et blått sug i det raue, en gul glød i det grøne, når skuggene fra morgontreet vært musik og var grase, er jeg parat i doggen. Jeg flyg som en alv med mine små vänge av sol og rettsle. Hartavik's second period of producing larger oil paintings ended after he was laid off from Ornensen's painting workshop in 1867. Even though he received welfare and continued to earn some money by doing odd jobs, his financial situation was so dire that he was unable to purchase artist materials. Yet despite his poverty, he managed to continue creating art up to his death in 1902. His last artistic period consisted largely of works on paper. Stavanger Art Museum is proud to administer the largest holdings of works by Lars Hartavik. The collection consists of oil paintings and many works on paper, as well as furniture and other functional items, decorated with his characteristic landscapes.